It's high time we had the lowdown on whether heels should be low or high. But even the designers can't make up their minds. So what's a poor slave of fashion to do about it? Just keep her eyes open and hope for the best. Ah, shoes, glorious shoes, practical necessities and aesthetic artifacts. They're now the stars of a new V&A show at the Bose Museum. Shoes, Pleasure and Pain charts 2,000 years of footwear, from ancient Egypt to sex in the city. We're looking very much at status. Um, that's one of our biggest themes, because a lot of footwear is all about status. And the higher the heel, you know, the, the, the bigger status you have. And it also means that however uncomfortable a shoe is, if you were, if you were very um, upper class, you didn't have to walk anywhere. Well, I don't know what these shoes say about me, but they haven't caused me to topple over yet. And like Naomi Campbell, who famously took a tumble on the catwalk wearing these Vivian Westwood creations. On display are more than 200 pairs of extreme footwear from around the world, exploring themes such as transformation, obsession, and seduction. I said in these shoes, I don't think so. As soon as you walk into the exhibition, the first thing you notice is, of course, the shoes. And then you look up at this incredible ceiling that looked like tassels in a boudoir. And then I looked more closely, and they're shoelaces, thousands yeah. of them. We just wanted to create an atmosphere in the exhibition that made it, made it more immersive, so that rather than just looking into vitrines, you actually were surrounded by the exhibition as well. This collection would blow Carrie Bradshaw's mind. And look, it's definitely not an urban shoe myth. Those really are Manolo Blahnik, Mary Janes, standing alongside David Beckham's football boots. It's not just about women and, and Jimmy Shoe and these wonderful um, uh, stilettos. There's, there's, there's men's shoes here throughout the whole exhibition and we're actually adding to this exhibition a whole wall of trainers, of really rare trainers from 1960 to present day. And there's a lot of sneakerheads out there that I think might be quite interested in coming along. So whether you've got a taste for trainers, a passion for platforms, or a fetish for flats, this is your only opportunity to see the exhibition in the UK before it begins an international tour. You have until the 9th of October to put your best foot forward. Sharina Saga, BBC Look North, the Bose Museum in Barnard Castle. <laughs>